It started with a light faint, almost forgettable, a single spark moving beyond Jupiter, against the current of the stars. Astronomers noticed it first, and then the silence followed. The headlines called it a comet, but the numbers didn't match. The chemistry didn't belong, and the brightness, it shouldn't exist. For weeks, NASA's updates slowed, the data streams thinned, and then, one by one, the cameras went dark. Officially, there was nothing unusual, but unofficially, scientists were watching something they could not yet explain. They named it 3i Atlas, the third interstellar visitor ever recorded in human history, not a comet, not an asteroid something in between, or perhaps something beyond. And what the news didn't tell you is that maybe silence isn't absence, maybe it's protection. Because every time the universe sends something across the stars, it also sends a question. And that question is simple, are you ready to listen? The first image of 3 I Atlas wasn't even meant to be discovered. On May 7th, 2025. NASA's Transiting Exoplanet Survey satellite test captured it by accident while searching for distant alien worlds. Two months later, on July 1st, the asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System finally recognized the strange visitor and gave it a name, 3i Atlas. When Voyager 1 left Earth in 1977, it took almost two years just to reach Jupiter's orbit. 3 I Atlas covered that same distance in less than four months. That speed alone tells us one thing, this object is not bound to the sun. It isn't looping around, it's escaping. Astronomers call this a hyperbolic trajectory, a path so sharp that gravity cannot hold it. If we draw its path on a map of our solar system, it looks less like an orbit, and more like a farewell. When TESS first spotted 3i Atlas, it was still far beyond Jupiter, a region so cold that sunlight is barely a whisper. Yet the object was already glowing, brighter than any comet should be out there. Normally, comets stay dark until they cross the orbit of Jupiter. Only then does the heat begin to wake them, ice turning into vapor, releasing gas and dust in a process called sublimation. But 3. I Atlas was already burning before it ever reached that point. It was acting like a comet that had somehow skipped the rules of physics. Compare that to Oumuamua, which showed no tail, no vapor, nothing at all, or Borisov. The perfect textbook comet behaving exactly as expected. 3. I Atlas stands somewhere in between, glowing too early, too bright and for reasons no one can yet explain. By July, something even stranger appeared. The comet's tail, that long stream of dust and gas, wasn't pointing away from the sun as it should. It was pointing toward it. That makes no sense. The sun acts like a giant cosmic fan, constantly blowing solar wind through the solar system. Those charged particles should push a comet's tail in the opposite direction. Imagine a dog sticking its head out the window of a speeding car. The wind always pushes its fur backward. Now imagine that same dog, but somehow its fur is blowing forward instead. That's how bizarre. Three Eye Atlas looks through the telescope, a tail that seems to defy the solar wind itself. Some scientists say it could be an anti-tail, a visual illusion caused by our viewing angle Others wonder if something inside is actively controlling the jet of gas. When the James Webb Space Telescope and Hubble finally locked their mirrors on 3i Atlas, the data stunned everyone. The cloud surrounding it, what astronomers call the coma, wasn't made mostly of water vapor like normal comets. It was dominated by carbon dioxide at a ratio of 8 to 1 compared to water. Think about that. A comet that breathes out carbon instead of water, like a snowball made of exhaust gas. That chemical fingerprint means it was born in a star system very different from ours. One where carbon dioxide froze long before water ever could. 
Even the size of its solid core keeps changing as we study it, first estimated at 20 kilometers wide, then reduced to 11, and now believed to be nearly 46. But what shocked scientists most was the scale of the coma itself, a sphere of gas stretching almost 300,000 kilometers wide, nearly half the size of the sun, a small object wrapped in a gigantic breath of alien chemistry. Then came another discovery, one that made even veteran astronomers pause. Using the very large telescope in Chile, researchers detected traces of nickel metal in the coma of 3i Atlas, but no sign of iron. That's impossible in nature. Iron and nickel are born together. They are forged side by side in the hearts of dying stars, thrown into space by the same supernova explosions. Everywhere we look, asteroids, meteorites, even planet cores, they appear as a pair, like twins of cosmic metal. The only time we ever see nickel without iron is when humans separate them on purpose in factories, refineries, and machines. So how did nickel appear alone in a comet from another star A? Pause. A breath. Then the question that no one wants to ask out loud? factories out there. The mystery of three. I Atlas has now split the scientific community into three camps. The first believes it's a natural relic, a fragment from a star system older than ours, forged in colder chemistry, where carbon dioxide takes the place of water. The second suggests something far bolder, that three I Atlas might be an artificial probe built by an intelligent civilization and now drifting through space like a lost messenger. And then there's the third idea, unsettling but strangely poetic, that this is a living comet. A massive organism feeding on dust and gas, exhaling carbon dioxide as it moves through the void. None of these theories have been proven, but none of them can be dismissed. Either because every time we think we understand the universe, it writes a new riddle in the stars. Time is running out. Our window to study 3i Atlas is closing fast. In early October, the European Space Agency will use its Mars Express and ExoMars Trace Gas Orbiter to capture images as the object passes within 28 million kilometers of Mars. It's not close enough for a detailed view, but clear enough to separate the glowing coma from the solid heart within, by late October, 3. I Atlas will slip behind the sun, lost in the blinding light, invisible to every telescope on Earth. Then, in December, it will re-emerge from the sun's far side, dimmer, colder, and already on its way out of the solar system. The final chapter comes on March 16th, 2026, when 3i Atlas passes near Jupiter again about 53 million kilometers away for one last glimpse before disappearing forever. But NASA might not be done with 3i Atlas just yet. Out there near Jupiter, one old spacecraft still drifts Juno. It's been orbiting the gas giant since 2016. Its mission nearly complete. Its instruments aging. Its fuel running low. Originally, Juno was scheduled to dive into Jupiter's atmosphere in late 2025, a final descent, a fiery end. But there's talk inside NASA of one last maneuver, a redirect mission to Chase 3. I Atlas, as it speeds away into the dark, it would be a long shot, a dying spacecraft chasing a dying light. But if successful, Juno could become the first probe ever to photograph an interstellar visitor up close. One machine nearing its end, pursuing a mystery just beginning. Maybe three, I Atlas is nothing more than ice and dust, a frozen relic from a forgotten star, glowing only because sunlight demands it to. Or maybe it's something else. Something built to travel where life cannot a mirror, drifting through the dark, showing us how little we truly understand. As the signal fades, the telescopes fall silent and the object slips behind the sun, we're left with one simple truth. Curiosity is humanity's oldest light. 
If you want to see what happens when it re-emerges from the sun's shadow, subscribe and stay on watch.